quick little shout out uh quick little shout out before we start here uh goes to the person who made this shirt it's uh it says mediocrity is good enough uh shout out goes to my mom for getting me the shirt now you might ask me finn where did you get that shirt well that's the trick my mom made it so i'll leave the link to where i got this shirt down below and you can go get one for yourself 10 out of 10 totally recommend Welcome back to the Junior Men's Podcast. I'm your host, Finn Lawler. And today, we are going to talk about, well, I mean, we're going to talk about, we're just going to, we're going to talk about just desserts. You know, like the name of the episode. Uh, it's just me today. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, first off, before we get too far, chocolate cake is the supreme ruler of all desserts. If you want to fight me on that, go for it. But I'm right. I'm just saying. Like, who, who like, personally, I don't eat lots of sugar these days, or I try not to. But when I usually, but when I do, chocolate cake is the way to go. Trust me, just, just <laughs> trust me on that one. Um, personally, I prefer, actually, I'll ask you a question. I'll ask you guys, my viewers, a question of, do you prefer, okay, listen, hear me out, ready? Two things. One, do you prefer chocolate cake or cheesecake? I'll give you a second to answer that question. Personally, I'm more of a chocolate cake kind of guy. I I I can do cheesecake, but like if I'm at a if if um if I'm at a party and there's no chocolate cake but there's cheesecake, eh, I won't really go for it. But like if the party has like, you know, chocolate mousse or something or or um just chocolate cake with like chocolate like shavings on the side dude now we're talking now we're getting serious nothing i i don't think anything will dethrone chocolate cake it is the best dessert i'm just saying i'm just saying it's kind of like you know how i how i said and how i still go by the statement of I don't know if I should say, but oatmeal raisin. Actually, I'll say this: oatmeal, oatmeal raisin cookies are better than chocolate chips. They're better than chocolate chip cookies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They just are. Oatmeal raisin cookies are supreme. Everyone knows that. Okay, back to the show. Um, another kind of another. Uh, hmm. If you're if you're talking an, about an underdog of desserts, two words, carrot cake. And actually, now that I mention it, coffee cake as well. A lot of people are like, "Dude, screw coffee cake or or uh, uh, screw carrot cake. It's terrible." And I'm like, "Uh uh uh uh." uh. Like, there's some people. So there are some people. There are some people out there who hate carrot cake. And I'm like, you can't even give it a chance. Like. If I go to uh, my local store or something and I'm walking down the aisle and I look to my right and I see like a carrot cake shaped like a carrot with frosting on it that's like this big, the size of my phone, dude, I'm going to pick that up. Are you kidding me? Carrot cake is awesome. Coffee cake is kind of like, is kind of a dumb question, but is there a coffee in coffee cake? <laughs> Tell me down in the comments below. No. Um... Is it though? I don't know. I don't know. I I assume there's coffee and tends to name coffee cake, but it's more like sugary. Either way, coffee cake and carrot cake. Fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. Uh 
Ooh, here's a question for you guys. Uh, and I'll let you guys answer answer before I give you my uh, opinion. Do you guys prefer cake or pie? See, there's a different story. With cheesecake, it's kind of like, okay, whatever. But with pie? Like, pumpkin pie, though, in the fall time? Dude, you're speaking my language here, man. Um... Key lime pie, I, I haven't had a lot of it, but it's but from the very few times that I've that I have had it, it's really good, it's phenomenal. Uh, let's see. Uh, pumpkin pie. What about apple pie? Apple pie is pretty good. I I can under you know what I can I can understand why some people say that pumpkin pie or uh, apple pie is crap. I can get, I can understand that. The, the texture is weird and blah, 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 blah. But like, it, you know, I actually haven't tried blueberry pie. I don't know. But honestly, I, cake, cake over pie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's kind of like, uh, do you like cupcakes or, I mean, cupcakes are just a milestone in the baker's industry <laughs> I wrote that in quotes um uh, cupcakes are great Ooh, here's a question for you do you do you guys prefer i'm talking to you guys do you guys prefer cupcakes or muffins muffins i mean when when you got like a uh when you're sitting at the table you know you look down at your plate and you see a Big old like poppy seed lemon poppy seed muffin just staring at you in the face. Let's go. You know what I mean? Like let's freaking go. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Um kind of like So like when it comes to like desserts, obviously they're is a lot of sugar sure i love sugar sugar is fantastic but it will make you feel like garbage down the line just saying so like i know i know this isn't really a dessert per se but like if i had to choose between let's say a piece of chocolate cake or something or a bag of gummy worms between that or like a pizza sure lots of carbohydrates and stuff but still good and I'm not really feeling like the sugar, I would go with the pizza. And I know pizza's not a dessert. Though it could be sometime. Man, Domino's not sponsored, by the way. I'm not sponsored by Domino's, I promise. Uh, Domino's does, like, this crazy thing where, like, they put, like, you know, desserts with their pizza and, like, you know, combine them. It's like, no, no, no. Like, if I'm not feeling sugar, I'll get a pizza. But anyway, that's, I know that sounds a little weird. I know that sounds a little kind of weird i it's i know i can't justify it enough but like if i'm just sick of sugar and i have a headache i'll go to a pizza i'm just saying pizza pizza's not a the excuse me <laughs> pizza is not a dessert i understand that but it's still so freaking good and the last point i want to make here before i wrap up this episode is another question ready and let me know your answers down in the comments section below and all that. Tell me something. We're going back to desserts and candy here for just a second. Do you guys prefer either... You got two options. Ready? Option one. Sour Patch Kids. And option number two. Sour Patch Watermelon. Which one are you choosing? I'll give you five seconds. All right, time's up. Let me know what you think. Uh, I mean, if you're watching this right now, say your answer out loud. I won't hear it, but I think I know what you're saying. My answer, personally, is Sour Patch Watermelon. Dude, dude. <laughs> during my last semester of college, oh my gosh, it would be... A hypothetical situation. It would be maybe 10 p.m. at night. I'd be hungry out of my mind. Hungry. Just starving, right? 
And, like, I'd be like, you know what, screw it. I, and I'm going to go to the grocery store and pick up a thing of Sour Patch watermelons. Dude, I... Don't, don't get me wrong, though. I love Sour Patch Kids. I do. But water, the watermelon kind, though? Oh, my gosh. Sour Patch watermelons completely wipe out Sour Patch Kids. I'm sorry. It does. No, no one can tell me otherwise. It's... Sour Patch Watermelons reign supreme right up there with chocolate. Sour Patch Watermelons is like the right-hand man of chocolate cake in terms of desserts and, like, candy. Sour Patch Watermelons is, like, second in command. Or, like, they switch off. Like, Sour Patch Watermelons is, like, the... Is, like, when the king, a.k.a. chocolate cake, is not having a good, a good day, and so Sour Patch Watermelons would sit in for the king for one day, and then they would switch off. They're equals. You can quote me on that. They're equals. Anyway... Um, yeah, so that, that, those are my opinions, uh, and thoughts on just desserts. Um, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'll leave a link for this shirt down in the description. Um, go find it there. Shout out to my mom for making them, for literally making this shirt and selling them. So, way to go. Uh, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to this episode of the Junior Mints Podcast. I have been your host, Finn Lawler. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Again, if I haven't already said it. If you guys like my videos videos and these episodes, drop a like. Subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys next time.